My camera's giving me an issue with um, recording a video, so I gotta shoot this really quick. I gotta be under 10 minutes, otherwise the camera's gonna shut off on me and I'm gonna be really annoyed because this is like the fourth time I'm shooting yeah, this video. This if you guys haven't noticed, time. I'm talking really, really fast because I'm trying to get this video. I'm gonna stop talking. Okay. Stop talking fast. Okay, ready? Um, guys, this video is about the Horizon, I mean, uh, about the Enterprise rental truck. Now, yeah. if, for, for those of you who are looking to get into <laughs> Towaway. Um, so I'm gonna go over all the prices, how much everything cost me, and the first run, and how much I made. Okay. So you're going to need, so the, the only thing the truck comes with is a DOT inspection, fire extinguisher, and your three triangles. That's it. Everything else you have to supply um, yourself out of your own pocket. So and for your fire extinguisher, you need to bring your own hardware because they don't offer you that. Right. <laughs> so I just used a tie-down, kind of wrapped it around the headrest of the back seat, and that was good. That it was, has to be like tie, everything has, it has to be It has to be secured. Down. It has to be secured. It can't be loose, apparently. Yeah. Um, so Even in the bed of your truck. I'm going to give you guys all the things that I needed to buy and kind of give you a quick rundown of price. We're sorry that we got so fast. We just really want to get this video up and not have this phone. I feel, like, I feel like I'm back in New York City. I'm talking really fast. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, guys. So we needed our weight distribution hitch, the ball, because mine was separate, uh, breakaway battery, battery box, the hitch pin and lock. If you see me looking down, it's because I have a list here, so I don't mean to be rude. Um... You need the hitch pin and lock, which when you put the trailer down on you lock it and you put the pin through it. Um, this one actually has a lock on it, that way nobody can mess with it. Uh, you need the mud flap and a torque wrench. Now, other things they didn't tell me that I would need is zip ties. Zip ties are for the for the license plate. You can mount it, you know, on the back of the trailer. It goes to the either the ladder or the license plate holder. Um, a carabiner. This is great for your breakaway cable. Uh, you can t attach it to one of the loops on your hitch. Uh, uh, yeah, in your truck hitch, rather, not on the trailer. Um, and a fifth wheel, which is optional, and a gooseneck, uh, if you want to do those. You don't have to do them right away, you can just do bumper pulls for now, see how you like it. That's um, what we wanted to do first. Right, that's but what I did. The fifth wheels, the runs pay pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple runs in California that paid, uh, over $3,000. Yeah. And I wasn't able to do them because, um, I know the fifth wheel. So... With that being said, the distribution hitch was about 169. The ball was ten dollars extra. The battery box, uh, the battery breakaway battery was around thirty dollars. The battery box was ten. The hitch pin was around fifteen. The mud flap was around 150 bucks. Um, the torque wrench was a hundred dollars. I think I way overpaid for that from stupid Napa Auto Parts. I would never go there again in my no. life. Um, the zip ties you can buy for a dollar at Dollar General. Uh, the carabiner was like three bucks. It came with a two pack breakaway. I'm sorry, the fifth wheel, you can probably buy them used for around 300 bucks. Yeah. New, they range anywhere from probably 600 to 1000 And the lock pin was like 16 bucks. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> now that I got that over with, I'm really trying to stay on this stupid time limit. Yeah. Um, this run was 720 miles, and it paid $1,000. Okay, when so... When you hear that price, you're like, wow, that's pretty good for a one-day trip. I mean, it took us, you know, we got there the next day. 24 hours, I consider, yeah. really. Kind of, eh. To make 20 Two days. Yeah. Two days. So, the total pay was $1,000. Now, for the truck rental, they take out 30% for every load. It doesn't matter what the every load is. Every load. Right, it doesn't matter what the load is. It doesn't matter if it's a $200 load or, or a $3,000 load. They're taking out 30% to compensate for those miles that you're putting on the truck. That being said, that 30% that took out $300 from this load. Brought me down to $700 already, okay? Uh, gas. This trailer was really heavy. It was around um, 11,000 pounds and 41 feet. It was a big-ass trailer. Um, so it was a gas hog, it really sucked, um, and that cost me around $300 in gas. That was getting eight miles, eight, nine miles to the gallon towing, doing 60, 65 miles an hour. Um, the tolls was around 100 bucks, and I didn't really compensate, I didn't really write in here food and, and whatnot, uh, but you figure probably for two days on the road, food was probably around 30 or 40 dollars for the two of us, um, so you had to stop at rest stops because you know. So you're looking at like expensive. so so after all those fees, um, you know you're looking at maybe like two hundred and seventy dollars, okay, around iffy. Uh, now that's dropping the trailer off. That's now that's done with the trailer, guys. That is not including driving back. For you know you know getting back to Indiana, the fuel getting back to Indiana was around one hundred and twenty five to one hundred and fifty dollars. Now, if you could do the math. Um, I only made like 150 bucks for a 720 mile run that took two days. I made 150 dollars after everything, after the 30 percent, after the gas, after the tolls, uh, after fuel, return fuel and food. It was awful. Uh, we we didn't like it. We didn't. I was very disappointed. Um, I even had another run set up uh, to go from Indiana to Florida because I have stuff down there I wanted to grab, but I. 
I canceled it. And I returned the truck already, guys. I did one run. I mean, I was like, I'm not going to waste my time doing this yeah. for $150. No. After, after no. all these costs. And most likely, no. we're not going to get run from Florida heading back up. So now we got deadheaded all the way back up. With right. With stuff that we're grabbing to bring to MO. And you're still paying for all those miles. Yeah. So I was in the month-to-month -month contract because I didn't want to lock myself in just in case, like, I didn't like, like it. This. So I was mm -hmm. paying 20 cents a mile for every mile that truck rolls. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. Doesn't matter if I'm on duty or off duty. Um, if I'm deadheading, if I'm just you know going somewhere on my personal time, um, you're still paying 20 cents a mile. So, yeah, uh, a beautiful truck. I had a 2019 Dodge Ram. It had a uh, Bluetooth backup camera, Sirius satellite radio. Um, you know, it, it was a really nice outfitted truck. It was beautiful. I always got looks. Everybody was always looking at the truck. People come uh, complimenting yeah. it. Yeah, but uh, for, for 125 to 150 bucks after all those costs. It's not worth it. Single pulling, pulling single pulls with that is not worth it. Um, if you if you were to rent a ship sheet trailer and you know uh, you pull three three RVs on a trailer and you're making four dollars a mile, maybe. But then again, they're still pulling that that thirty percent out. Don't forget. Yeah. If you got your own truck and you want to beat on it and rack up those miles, then it's worth it. Yeah. But not with them taking thirty percent out of every take, single. Takes the takes the profit. You can't. They takes, take it away. Yeah, it takes the whole profit away. It's really not worth it unless so you. I'm back on driveway. Again. So I'm back on driveway. So I got a. Uh, I actually managed to get a load going from Indiana to North Carolina, and then I got to head down to North Carolina, grab some stuff out of storage, and go hang out at my off-grid retreat till yeah. till so um, loads again. loads pop up, which is fine with me because I deserve a break. God yeah, we damn need it. a break. Um, so that's it, guys. I wanted to go over that real quick with you. I didn't like it. I like driving the truck, but I didn't like the pay. The pay is awful. $150 for that for two days worth of work is garbage. I'm going to be making uh, around $400 in, in a day with this driveway unit. So I'm going to stick with that. And that's running the Kia behind me. Yep. So I'm going to stick with that. Um, sucks we can't go together all the time. But she'll be behind me, and I see her at every rest stop that we stop at and stuff. Yeah. So it's all good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully the insight, you know, kind of opened your eyes to it, yeah. what it really is. Um, you know, if you guys want to try it, try it. <laughs> yeah, know? just make sure you got a good amount of money as backup money in case you don't like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, guys, before this video shuts off on me, I hope you are all doing well. And uh, I'm going to go relax. Yeah. I'm going to hit out on this run soon, so. I will see you guys in the next one. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And hello to our new subscribers. And hello to our new subscribers. Um, I'm sorry I haven't put out a homestead video. We've been a lot on the road. Um, but we're going to be there soon, within this week. So yeah. uh, we'll be talking more about that and what we're doing. And uh, yeah. yeah. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.